All right, uh, this is how to create animated GIF images with Adobe Fireworks CS5. So we're going to need our uh, Fireworks. So this is the Fireworks software and this is how it looks. We can just come down here to create a new document. Okay. Uh, we can specify the size, the width may be 400 by 200 pixels. So if you want a white background, transparent or custom, so I normally select custom so I can change it to anything I want. So this is a 400 by 200 pixels. So we'll start by creating a shape, probably a rectangle, but most times I use a rounded rectangle, something like this. I draw it here. This is a rounded rectangle. So can I can adjust the edges like this but I don't want any border no border and no no uh, the color should be white something like this so um, now I have a plain plain shape here now I can write out my text how to create um, animated images so I can select this is my text then I will have another text click here to learn more so if this is the text that I want to be my call to action so this is my text this is the plain background plain white background and I have to text here so okay, let me make this background visible a little bit so I can give it some form of a shadow so I, I've clicked on it by this side we have the layers these are all the items that we have on the on the screen we have the shape and two text everything are laid out here so the last one beneath is the shape so I can select it here and make uh, give it an effect or modification at this part so if I want to edit anything here I'll first of all select it here like this text I can select it and uh, edit the properties here so once I select the rounded rectangle here I select it here and I can make some modifications to it maybe I want to change the color shape outline and the likes so but now I want to give it a filter so I want something like drop shadow or uh, I can select it here shadow and glow drop shadow so it is having some form of shadow here let me adjust it to canvas so I'm clicking outside and now I want to fit it to canvas okay this is how I generated the shadow like effects for the background so now I have the text to text here I can add images as well Perhaps I want the shape of an ebook to be here. I'll come down here, file. Import, import images. If I want. I want a picture, something like this to be there. Import so it has been imported so i can just draw it anywhere i want it to be so this is the image i can drag it anywhere so according to this layer the image i just imported is at the top i can just select it and bring it down below behind the text so the text is now on it so i can reduce the size of the text i lighten it and select the size maybe 20 something i say 30 so i can select it and bring it somewhere here so this is my call to action button that i will give the blinking effect so now i have an image now how can i make it to be animated that is where what we have to learn here so you just come down here to select animated gif 
so while we select animated gif so we'll go back to the slide here we have states states now state is the uh is the level at which the image what the image dis displays at a particular point in time so i can have two states or three or more states so once it, it will first play the first state and show the next state so let me try to duplicate this state so you get what i'm trying to so i now have two states so but the same images so i can make some changes to this second state in this second state now i'm on the second state now i can edit the text for for this one instead of the color to be blue i can make it red so let me go back to the first state the color remains blue in the first state while the color has changed in the second state i guess we can see it so once we play play it it will play it will play the first and second state in a loop style so it, it will look like it is blinking so we can create as many as possible states and we can make as uh, many as possible changes as we want it to look like so this is how i generate the like a blinking effect it's just the states here so this the time here is the is the number of seconds it's it, it will take to display so if i should set this to maybe 150 it will take longer time before it changes and also this to be 150 so once i play it here to, to the changes will be very very slow but i want something that will be very fast so i can change the time to maybe 60 and um, 60 so once i play it it will look very fast or like it is blinking so let me just make some modification like we can still add another state maybe st duplicate this state we now have state 3 so in this state 3 i want the color to be instead of red as we have it here i can change the color to another color here yeah, like this one let's change it to maybe yellow so we now okay yellow is not visible on white let's make it green let me pick a color from here yeah like this so once i play it i have three states now blue green red so that is the dynamic effect of the gif so once i have this done i can save it and export it so let me just to save a gif image you come here to select it, save us so from the drop down we select animated gif or len cs5 so we select save as G uh, animated gif so we are done let's check it from our background uh, so once we preview it we can preview it with web browsers So this is how it will look like on our web browser so that's that about creating animated gif using adobe cs5